Hello guys, what is going on? Edris96 here and today I've got a little bit of a squad builder for you. Uh, this is one of the squad builders I have actually made on 314. It's under the K, League BBDA and uh, Serie A team. And here we go, in the net we've got the spoof on. The guy looks like he's going to rape you. But into his stats, he's got 90 diving, 80 reflex and 9 positioning. It's also got the traditional uh, save technique. In my opinion, this is guy is one of the top 5 off power keepers in the game. Uh, makes some foul saves, uh, also good at saving one on ones, which is very good. This is because of his positioning, uh, yeah. But onto the two centre backs now, we have the two other post centre backs in the game. We've got Sergio Ramos and we've also got uh, Agbona. Uh, so I'm gonna start with Agbona first. Uh, this guy helped me a lot in this team, he made some foul tackles and he also has a uh, high defensive work, which is really good. The only thing that let me down with these two centre backs is they didn't score me a lot of headers, but other than that, Agbona is very good. Like I said, he did do some good clearances as well. And onto the other centre back, we have Sergio Ramos. Like I said, not very good at the scoring corners, but uh, it's just absolutely beast. Just always wins their medals from defensive lines. Just too bad he could do it on the attacking line. Uh, he's also got a very good pace, which he can keep up with more strikes, which is a very good hand. He, he could also have defensive uh, work rates, which would make him better, but other than that, both quality players. Now to the right back, we've got a number called Cavajal. Don't even know if I fucking pronounced it right, but oh well. He's got high attacking and low defense and medium defensive. Uh, very good for his coins. And on to the left back, we've got Constant. Uh, also a cheap number. The only reason he's, uh, we've got him is for chemistry reasons. And Serie don't have any good uh, left backs. But other than that, uh, he is worth 4200 but I wouldn't recommend buying him. I would recommend a uh, good player, but... Obviously, you can't get a good player as the Serie A don't have any good left backs. Uh, now, on to the midfield. This is where the team get, uh, starts to get a bit good. Uh, so, at the first centre mid, we have got Paul Pogba, and the other centre mid, we have got Cesc Fabregas. Uh, we're going to start with Paul Pogba now. Uh, as you can see, we starts. They're all above 70. He's got 75 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 shooting, 75 defending, 80 passing, and 81 heading. My eyes, one of the best centre mids in the game. I've also tried to finish you on him, which uh, made him play better as when he was using basic, he wasn't doing as well with finisher. He's also got scored with three goals and two assists, which is very good for a centre midfield, uh, who was actually more of a defensive midfield for me. But for 2,600, he's worth the coins. He plays like someone what he's worth, about 100 to 150 grand. Uh, I'd recommend buying him. But now on to the other centre mid, we have Cesc Fabregas. Uh, good player, but my eyes is not worth 17 grand as it's only scored three, uh, one goal and three assists. And you expect more assists with 90 passing, and he also has high attacking work rate, which isn't uh, which is poor, should I say? Uh, he's got three star skill and three star uh, weak foot. He should have more than three star skill as he is actually pretty skillful in my eyes. When I watch uh, Barcelona play, he does some skillful uh, moves and he also does uh, good passes uh, during the skill moves. Uh, now on to the cam, we have Marquisio. Uh I used to like this guy, but in my eyes he's more of a defensive centre mid, which I usually played, played in, because he did very well, but I decided to play him as cam to see how he played, and in my eyes not a very good uh, cam. He's got high attacking and high defensive, and he's only scored one goal in seven games and no assists for a cam. That is absolutely shocking. Uh, if you were going to build this team, I would recommend getting him. But now onto the right wing, we have one of my favourite players in the team. We have got Di Maria, uh, 90 passing, 90 pace, should I say, and 86 dribbling. Scored four goals and one assist for the right wing. That is amazing. I know he's worth 26 grand, but he's worth the coins as he's got four star skill. He's also got high attacking and high uh, defensive. But on the defending uh, side of this, it turns into a 4 5 1. As, as you can see now, the left wing we have is El Shirawe, and he also has uh, high defensive and high attacking. Uh, like uh, Di Maria, very good player, 5 goals and 2 assists in 7 games, which is actually amazing for a left wing. Uh, he should have 4 star skills, as he is very skillful, like Seth Fabregas. They need to do a lot of upgrading, as some of these players are well uh, better than what they are in the uh, skill moves. Now on to the main player of this team, it is uh, Carlos Tevez. I know his stats don't look the greatest, but when you play uh, him in your team, he's absolutely amazing. He scored three goals and three assists, which isn't too bad for a striker. He's, he hasn't got uh, the best of pace, but for his size, he's got very, very good strength. He also scored a couple of headers for me from the uh, crosses from the right wing and the left wing. 
overall, Tevez is a very good player and overall this team is a good team. Uh, but if you did like this uh, video, please could you leave a like and a comment as I uh, try my best to uh, make the best footage for you. I know I've got a lot of haters, but uh, I'm just going to forget the haters now and carry on with my uh, FIFA YouTube career. So, peace.